Hey, Psych2Goers, we're so glad to see you here. And we wanna thank you for supporting us. Your ongoing help, sharing, and liking has helped Psych2Go continue our mission to make psychology accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin, shall we? There just aren't enough hours in the day. Sai says as he looks at his to-do list. It's almost the end of his workday and he's feeling frustrated. There are so many tasks he did not finish. It seems impossible to find time for himself and keep up with all of his responsibilities. Have you ever felt like this, Psych2Goers? Maybe you tend to procrastinate or feel like you're busy all day but aren't getting enough done. Either way, this video will help you figure out how you're wasting time so that you can spend it on the things you love. If you can measure it, you can master it. Let's be honest, we've all sat on our phones scrolling through TikTok for hours without realizing how much time has gone by. If you're not aware of what you're spending your time on, then you might be wasting it. After all, how do you know when you're wasting time if you're not even conscious of it? According to a study by Whitaker and colleagues, many people believe they don't use their time productively. So by becoming more aware of your time, you can stop wasting it. In the study, participants were shown how long they were using different apps on their computer. Because they saw this information, they wasted less time on things like social media, checking emails, and browsing the internet. Plus, they reported that they could focus better on their work. One easy way to become more aware of your time is to go to the settings in your phone and look at your screen time. How much time do you spend on social media every day? Are there any apps that you're surprised you waste time on? Share in the comments below. People pleasing. Take a moment to think about what you did over the past week. Did you spend time on activities that you didn't have to do, but did to gain the approval of others? According to social worker, Sherry Coburn, you could be wasting time by doing tasks, not because you enjoy them, but because you want others to like and value you more. Knowing your worth can help you better prioritize your time on things you genuinely enjoy instead of wasting it on people pleasing. Remember, Psych2Goers, you are valuable and loved. You don't need to prove your worth to anyone. Time as a currency. As Benjamin Franklin once said, time is money. And we all know that one of the simplest things you can do to save money is cut down your spending on things that you don't really need. Have you ever thought about viewing time as currency? This is what psychologist Clifford Lazarus suggests to stop wasting your time. Time is one of the most valuable things we have in this life and it can't be replaced. For this reason, Lazarus says that if you don't want to do something, you shouldn't do it unless you truly need to. Maybe you have a habit of taking on tasks that aren't really important without giving it a second thought or spending time with people who don't bring you joy. Whenever it's possible, avoid taking on unnecessary obligations that you don't have the bandwidth for. Consider the things and people that are worth your valuable time. What versus how? According to Professor Pete Golwitzer, if you focus on what you need to do without planning how you're going to do it, you could be wasting your time. He suggests if-then planning to make your schedule more realistic. For example, instead of saying, I'll finish my assignment on Monday, you could say, if I finish the background research on Monday morning, then I will start writing my assignment in the afternoon. To-do list disaster. A to-do list can be a great way to plan ahead and save time, as long as it's organized. Professor Michelle Eskrit says, that if you're writing down tasks in multiple places like a calendar on your laptop, an app on your phone, and on paper, it can waste time and make you less productive. Instead, Escrit recommends keeping your tasks organized in one place so that they're easy to keep track of. All right, Psych2Goers, now we wanna hear from you. Is there anything that you realized you're wasting your time on after watching this video? What are your best time-saving tips? Share in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Psy. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Psy is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your side plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.